So last week we had the exercise with the cups of water practicing a hand rotation motion to getting that rotation. It's a little bit easier when you have to have a cup of water in there, but it's about getting this kind of rotation practiced. So what are we going to do with that? Um, so um, we're going to incorporate that. We're going to take incorporate single web, and also the same uh, motion we've used in a few other moves. Most commonly slanted flying. Uh, this I'll do this right at the camera here. That T-shaped motion that we use as a strike against the torso and chest. Now, one of the things that they talk about in uh, in martial arts and movies about martial arts is the idea that you know how many people can attack you at once, and it's mostly six. Um, the idea that any more than six, and they're just getting in each other's way. Uh, we're gonna map out what six looks like here. Yeah, a little bit closer. Tai Chi works very close in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the large ones as the starting and the ending points. Is that right? It's there. Yeah. So from single whip. We're going to first go to that T, po that T position by opening up the snake's head and bringing that forward hand over to press against the torso. So there's your first T at this spot. And then for the next one, we just advance the hands forward, rotating them slightly. And then for the next one, what we're going to do is take a step out and then we're going to that little scoop motion that we've been practicing we're going to do that scoop coming around and striking here so the strike is the exact same as that first one we did just in a different direction so here we're going to do that rotation again and this time we're going to do a full rotation of the hands as we step forward. And then scoop around again. So that is from single whip. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm regretting using ones that look all look so red on camera. Um, plan it better next time. Okay. So breaking that down, breaking that down again into small steps. So from single whip, bring this leading hand over across the chest and open up that snake's head to form that first T shape. Then we're going to step forward and bring the arm that's going across the chest up to become the new top of the T and rotate the other hand around to be the base of the T. What we're going to do is going to lean forward 
on that four legs, all that weight's on that front foot, so we can step behind. We're going to step about to that corner spot. And then as we rotate around, we're going to scoop that hand around, scooping that energy out, and forming that T again. Then from here, we're going to shift the weight to that right hip as we switch the hand positions for another T here. And then from here, with that weight shifted to that hip, we can now step out and rotate the hands around in a circle for here. And then that same rotation, now that we're at the corner, we step around. Scoop. So in theory, this should look pretty close to the same. You should get the same kind of looks from the other way around, but let's go ahead and see what happens here. So from single whip, that first one, second, step back around to that corner, rotate for the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Again, spacing is a little wide on that side. Um, we're going very slowly here. One. Now our weight's shifted all the way over so we can step out. Two, shifting that into that knee, we can step back with that foot, so we rotate around, three, four, five, step back, and six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. See if there's any questions. Nothing so far. Okay, this is Fair Maiden at Shuttles 1 through 4. Why is it 1 through 4 when it's 6 spots? It's more in the style of the moves. Exactly where it breaks down between each one? It's a very good question that I've never gotten a great answer to. Very much it's one of those things where all the moves run into each other, so it's the exact st starting and stopping point is a little bit uh, hazy. One, two, three, four, five. a lot slower than that. One, two, three, four, five,
know, I'm going slow and counting like that. It's really hard not to just say the numbers really slowly. I don't know if that would actually be helpful or not. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, Let's do it a couple more times from the other direction. One, two, shifting that weight to that knee so you can bring the foot around, scoop around. Three, shift the weight four. Step out to five, flip back around again to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. out to two, shifting the weight, bringing it around three, four, step out to five, step behind for six. And then from there, it's a bird's tail to a ward off, pull back, press, push, same sequence you're used to. From there, cloud single whip, cloud hands, and the snake creeps down. But those are further lessons. Uh, yeah, let's keep going from this one. Bring the T over on by the hip, that's one. Stepping out with the foot, shifting the T around two, stepping behind, scooping for three, doing the shifting for four, stepping out for five, and then repeating for the last one. As you're practicing this, I do encourage at least a few times, getting some kind of marker, uh, cups, stuffed animals, little squares, books, something that, to just kind of give help you give a focus for where you're positioning yourself. Um, it should, it's a little bit distorted because of the lens. It should be a, um, it should be a rectangle, kind of like a the six pips on a die. Um, on a six-sided die. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one more time. And then we'll call it for today. Shift the weight, make the T, step out, rotate the hands around for the second one, step behind, scoop with that hand to make the third T, shift the weight for a fourth one, step out and rotate the hands around for five, step behind for six. 
And that is Fair Maiden Net Shuttles. Thank you very much. <laughs>